what's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology so this is the part 4 of um, active directory automation tutorial using uh, Python so let me just give it one headline tutorial 4 so like let me just start from the beginning like in the first part we just created uh, like some sort of what do you say uh, like connection uh, using some defined user ID and password and in a tutorial one we just did some sort of normal searching and get some attribute like for example user principal name in the part two we have created bulk user account like from reading from some csv file like this is the structure of the csv file and in the next uh, tutorial like in tutorial three like we did like um, bulk deletion of uh, like uh, user account by reading from some csv file so in this tutorial like we'll be going uh, to uh, discuss and we'll be doing some sort of like uh, hands-on with uh, some group operation like initially we'll do some group creation and after that we'll be creating uh, like group creation as well as uh, like updating of the membership okay so first it will be like uh, group creation okay so before creating a group i just uh, created i just create one OU. you uh, i did uh, created oh i just created yes yes i think i created one OU. Uh, this is the OU. okay this is the user OU. this is the group for you so we'll be uh, updating our like um, groups over here okay so before going forward so like let me just uh, GOU is going to be like pi ad the same like then ad container then it is going to be ad container like from dn and I'll pass the distinguished name of this for you okay so this is an attribute editor then Distinguish name well this okay okay guys so now what I'll do let me just create one group like group equals to this is the code pi ad the same like other like ad group then ad group then you have to just call like create so name is the cn let me just give one name like uh, test group python one okay container is uh, this one g o u g underscore o u then security enable means whether you want this group as a security group or not so let me just give it to like false and thing you guys all know like what is security group or not let me just show you something for example this is the group so see this is the global the scope is global and this is a group type is security but i just uh, said the security is false so it will be created as a distribution group okay so and the scope will be like universal i'll be creating universal distribution group and for optional properties let me just set one dictionary like let's check just description python or probably created by python i think created by python i think that's it if i run it so it will be going to create one group with text group underscore python one in this inside this for you okay let me run this thing first i think terminated means completed without any error 
see if I just refresh this thing see the group created let's check the properties like description created by python group scope is universal group type is distribution so i'll be creating one more group like with global and the security okay so what i'll do now i'll be creating another group with this is two security enable is true and let's make it global okay it's terminated means completed so there will be one more group with test underscore group underscore python 2 so let me just refresh it so it is created now if you check this thing is a group scope is global and the group type is security here the group scope is distribution and it is universal okay so uh, let me like reopen the code so this is very simple just like uh, we did with uh, like user creation like we have to create one container object we have to assign uh, like some values from by reading from distribution uh, distinguished name and after that you have to call this method only and you don't have to remember or hard code anything in inside your memory if you just do some create like from the clips or whatever id you are using will be like uh, populating everything for you so this is very simple so probably uh, what i'll do in the in the next session uh, i'll show you how to update a uh, group membership okay so that will be in the tutorial 5 so that's all for uh, this video hopefully uh, we'll see you in the next video and till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the uh, the like on as well to get the notification on timely manner so take care goodbye have a nice weekend